Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 iOS 13 settings that you should change right now. Change these settings in order to get a better and safer experience on your iOS 13 device. Of course these settings will improve your security, your iPhone's performance as well as battery life. So here are 20 settings that you should change right now on your iOS 13 device. Starting off with silencing unknown callers. Now this feature can be found under the settings of the phone app. So go to settings, go to the phone settings and right here we'll find silence unknown callers. Now what this does is that unknown calls like calls from unknown numbers will be silent and will be sent automatically to the voicemail and of course they will be displayed on the recent list but you won't get that like the sound the vibration the ringing when they call you you will just find them on the recent list and they won't be able to bother you the next setting is found under the itunes and app store section now go ahead go to itunes and app store go to app downloads and tap always allow now what this does is that it will remove Apple's 200 megabyte limit from downloading from the app store using your cellular data. Now this is of course very useful if you have like unlimited data and you don't care about your data so you just want to download your stuff go ahead and tap right there always allow and you can of course also tap on ask if over 200 megabyte it will ask you if you want to download or not and then you can choose to download or not but if you have like an unlimited plan go ahead and tap on always allow the location services on ios 13 also have a new feature now when you go to one of the apps you can go ahead and tap ask next time now i suggest you do that you turn on this setting right here for most of the the apps of course some of the apps you, you want them to track your location all the time if you want to you can go ahead and tap while using the app or always but with this new feature on iOS 13 I suggest you go ahead and use it so just tap ask next time and every time an application wants to use your location it has to ask you for permission and that's very very good all the time you will know if an application is using your location or not under the cellular settings on iOS 13, you will find a new setting called low data mode. Now, what this does is that it will help apps on your iPhone consume less data. So it will reduce the amount of data that the apps use. That way, of course, will preserve your data. So if you're low on data, you can use the settings. So just go to settings, go to cellular and under the cellular settings, make sure you go ahead and enable the setting right here and your apps will use less data. Something I suggest everyone should do once they get their device on iOS 13 is setting up the emergency contact. In case of an emergency, that will be the contact you need so go ahead go to settings go to emergency sos and tap right here set up emergency contact in health tap right there click on the edit button scroll down and tap right here it will take you to your contacts list and from there all you got to do is just select one of your contacts and here we'll have to specify who that person is so tap right there and you will have your emergency contact right there so you can see now when i go back i will have the emergency contact right there so in any case of an emergency that will be the phone number that will be contacted ios 13 has a new feature called slide to type that's very very useful if you get the hand of it it will be really cool you will be able to type really really fast but if you go ahead and just use it the way it is you will have a very hard time deleting words if you go ahead and just type a word incorrectly that will be a pain so right here you can see if i type a word you can see that if I type right there, I will have to go ahead and delete letter by letter that word. But if you go to settings, you go to general, you go to keyboard right here, we'll have this setting that I suggest to turn on slide, delete slide to type by word. So if you type a word wrong, then all you gotta do is just tap the back button once and it will completely delete the word. And of course, the biggest feature of iOS 13 we all have been waiting for is the dark mode. I suggest you go to settings, go to display and brightness and set it on automatic. 
this is the best setting for the dark mode so you go ahead go to options and you can choose here sunset to sunrise or you can set a custom schedule so if you don't want to bother yourself turning on and off the dark mode you can go ahead and use the automatic option and you will have the dark mode and the light mode turned on and off automatically based on time also if you use the dark mode the best thing you can do is go ahead go to the wallpaper section and enable dark appearance dims wallpaper now if you have like a light wallpaper like bright colors that will dim the wallpaper and make it to fit better with the dark mode you don't want to have like the dark mode enabled and then you have like a light wallpaper that looks just awful so go ahead go to settings go to the wallpaper section and make sure to turn on dark appearance dims wallpaper a huge improvement on iOS 13 is of course the ability to download things. Now we have a download manager within Safari. So you go ahead, install iOS 13 on your device, you download something from Safari and you don't know in which folder, which location you're downloading stuff. So what you need to do once you install iOS 13 is go to settings and go to Safari and go right here to downloads and you will have your location right here go ahead and set your location now the or the default will be the iCloud Drive you can go ahead and set on my iPhone or you can go ahead and tap others and you can just choose here any specific folder that you want or you can even create a new folder and then you will be able to go ahead and save your downloads on that specific folder so make sure you turn you basically choose the location where you save your downloads on the new Safari download manager now of course with the new download manager you will download a ton of stuff on Safari so what you need to do is go ahead go to the Safari settings on the settings app go to download and here we'll have remove download listed items what you need to do here is go ahead and choose after one day or up and successful download so on safari you will have a list of all of your downloads and this will basically clear that list automatically you don't want to have there a long list of files that you have downloaded which probably don't need to have there so go ahead and choose i suggest you choose after one day so after one day the list will be cleared every other day the list will be totally cleared another setting i suggest you change within this far settings is the new closing tab option so go to close tabs and go ahead and choose to to close the tabs automatically of course you browse on safari will have a ton of tabs opened in the background sometimes we're just lazy to close them and we'll just have them there and of course that will also even slow down your safari app or basically it's not that good having all those tabs working in the background so go ahead and choose here after one day one week or even one month but i suggest you go ahead and choose after one week so each week every tab that you have open in safari will be automatically closed another setting i suggest you should change on every device not just ios 13 is the background app refresh so go to settings go to general and you will have here background app refresh now first of all go at the top right there and choose wi-fi so the background app refresh will work only when you're connected to the wi-fi network go back and you will have a list of all the apps that you have on your device and make sure you go ahead and turn off the background app refresh for the apps that you don't need it to be on all the time so of course there are apps in which you might need to have background app refresh enabled so this is a cool option here having the option to go ahead and choose which apps you want to have background app refresh enabled you can do that from this list right here so i suggest you turn it off for the most apps that you don't need to go ahead and turn off background app refresh directly from here on the iTunes and App Store section on the settings app, there are a few other settings that I suggest you should change once you have installed iOS 13 on your device. Of course, you can change these settings on other older devices, older iOS versions as well. First of them is automatic downloads. Now you will have here music apps, books, audiobooks, and also app updates. Now you're low on battery or even low on data, and these will basically download automatically. That will, of course, consume your data basically drain your battery and of course decrease the performance if the iPhone is installing apps in the background when you're doing something else the performance will of course be worse so what you need to do is go ahead and turn these off you can go ahead and download your apps or your updates when you have 
your iPhone fully charged, you have it on char charging, or you have a lot of data, or you're even connected to a Wi-Fi network, you don't need to be these enabled automatically. And lower here also will have in-app ratings and reviews. Now on apps, you might see like pop-ups that ask you to review or rate an app. You don't want them to bother you. you go ahead and switch off the switch right here. Also, this is very, very useful. Go ahead and enable upload unused apps. Now, what this does is that it will remove unused apps, but it will save the documents and data. So when you need an app, even if it has removed it, you just go ahead and download it from the app store and you will still have the data of the app right there, but it will just be removed from your iPhone so that it doesn't take a ton of space on your iPhone. If you need it, you go ahead and install it and you will have all your stuff right there. Another thing I really suggest you should do is go to settings, go to notifications, and from here we'll have the list of your apps and go ahead and on show previews, tap never. I always do this. You don't want you to have your iPhone showing the previews of your notifications. So you have your iPhone on a table somewhere you get a message or you get a notification from a social media app or anything, it will show the preview of the text that you got and that's of course a privacy issue. So you wanna save your privacy, go ahead, go to send, go to notifications, go to the apps, of course, that you want to do that and just turn on here, never. By default, that's on, but if you have any of them showing always or when unlocked, go ahead and choose never. The next setting I suggest you should change on iOS 13 is found under the Safari settings. So once you go to your settings, go to the Safari section and scroll down here and you will find prevent cross site tracking. So enable that and that will prevent ads from tracking you from side to side. So you basically search for something on a site, it will just go ahead and track you and just show you different ads and that will track you from side to side. So go ahead and prevent that by enabling the switch right here. Now on iOS 13, we have an amazing feature called voice control that allows you to completely control your iPhone by only using your voice. And that is found here under the accessibility section. So go ahead, go to voice control and here it is. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and turn this off. I know this is an amazing feature, but it stays on in the background. It has a feature that allows it to say, go to sleep and it will like turn off the mic, but it's still constantly hearing for you. When you say wake up, it will be enabled. So that means that it is working in the background. So you don't want it to, you don't want it to do that. You want it to be off. So even if anytime, if you need it, go ahead and turn it on, but go ahead and turn it off right when you're done. You don't need to use it anymore. Make sure it's always off. On the new books app on iOS 13, you will have a new feature called reading goals. So right here, if you go to the settings of your iOS 13 device and go to the books section, you will find here reading goals to enable it right there. What I suggest you do is enable include PDFs. Now you might have books that are like PDF files. This new reading goals won't include those on the reading goals if you don't turn on the settings. So make sure you go ahead and turn on include PDFs under the settings of the books app. And last but not least is the setting found under the control center section. So go ahead, go to customize controls and enable the dark mode. Now this will add a toggle on the control center of your device, which allows you to quickly turn on or off the dark mode. Now you can do that. Of course, if you go to the control center, you will have the force touch there and you will have the switch but you can do it faster using the toggle, which you can add from the settings. Now, I suggest you keep this, the dark mode feature on automatic. That's the best way to use it. But if you don't wanna do that, you wanna manually turn it on or off, you better go ahead and add the toggle on the control center, which allows you to quickly turn on or off the dark mode. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are 20 settings that I suggest you should change right away once you install iOS 13 on your device. So these settings will help you get a better performance, better security, and overall a better experience on your iPhone on iOS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe for more iOS 13 videos, and I'll see you on the next one.